Hello everyone, this is Zong, we're on in Industry Transporters today, and there's been a lot of changes since I played last, and we're going to dive right in here, and we're just going to see what exactly has changed, the, the whole menu, the menu system is different, um, my name is Zong, and you're working for uh, the government, Logo here, orange and black. Start money. Give me the money. Let's just max it out. We're gonna buy a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna start in uh, 1980 because I know that's when my train comes out that I made. And we're just gonna pump up the industries. I'm gonna pump up the towns. And very flat. Very low. Very low degrees. Not of large cities. Normal. Okay, create. So, there's been a lot of updates. I haven't been checking on Mr. Transporter since so I've been busy with Orbit. Um, I've been meaning to go through the Facebook posts and the web posts, but I figured, you know what, I'll just play the game and see what's different. Because, you know, it's easier to do. Marcus has been working very hard on this, and in addition to my training being in the game, there's now an industry that I made that's in the game. So I'm gonna definitely gonna try that out, that out and see how it is. Interest, interested to see that working. In a large food processing mill. So I'm definitely gonna build that and train and see how it works. And then we'll, we'll also be seeing if trucks trucks have been fixed and. They are, that's excellent. Lots of things have changed since we last played. So we'll see. And also, as an added benefit, this is working on Windows 10. And Windows 10 seems to be pretty good, except for StarCraft 2 doesn't work, which is pissing me off because Orbit is StarCraft 2. So now I have to go to a different computer to work on that and play that. But, oh well. You know, maybe Microsoft to get a little feedback from me or whatever. I'll be back to Windows 7 soon enough because Windows 10 will expire in April. So, but you know, if it's going to be a free upgrade at some point, then it's definitely going to be worth doing, I think, because it's just, it's just clean, you know, it's nice. Definitely. Done loading here. Um, it's definitely going to be cool. It's a little unfortunate that he did have to change the name to Industry Transporters, but you can't use Industry Giant, obviously. So, put a second screen off here, it's a little annoying. We are looking at uh, Industry Transporters. Else, oh, it's parentheses. What is that thing? It's a helicopter. It sounds like a chainsaw. Oh wait, no. What the fuck? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that's the forest post. It's like picking up logs and dropping it on the forest or the song. That's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, I see potential right here. Wow, there's a lot of industries. So, first off, wow, the build menu, completely different. It's uh, very nice. Uh, the date system has changed. You can make a headquarters now. Uh, let's see, the tutorial. Still working to fill it out, but uh, getting there. I still haven't made my tutorial for this game though, it's all scripted. Uh, I just made a tutorial for Outpost 2 the other day. So, let's see how that goes. And then another thing is, 
Another thing I always like to change is I always like to turn off the uh, day-night cycle. Because it's just so hard to see everything. Okay, so... What are we looking at? So... T4. This is nice new icons, very visual, not reading much of text, very nice. I don't know if I'll be able to recognize everything that's changed in the game so far, but I'll try my best to uh, pick up on everything that's been done. Uh, and another thing that's a little annoying is it's still very slow to uh, level this all out here, but we'll see. I'm sure that's something that can be improved. Maybe I just need to do more at once or something. It would be nice if you could just drag and select all this, like a uh, demolition tool. Uh -oh. So, first thing we're going to do. Oh, wow. Wow. This is. This is nice. Although. Them being green tinted like that, it's a little hard to see. Uh, maybe just a green border and not a green uh, tint over the entire icon. Anyway, so we're gonna make a food store. Uh, I think I need to. to like deselect the deform tool or something. Yeah, so if you have the deform tool selected, you cannot build uh, buildings. Like it sucks. I said that my food factory would be in here, but uh, I don't see it. Huh. Oh well. I think he said that it would be an update later on, so maybe later on today. I'll be implementing that. Uh, oh well. So, we'll, we'll try out the uh, train. Wait, hold on, I need to build this food store. And I don't see the demand popping up for stuff. So, whatever. Why is it trying to demolish that? Uh, let's see here. Sell meats. 15 per week, okay, and then milk, 8 per week. And really, if you could press delete to close all the windows, I'm just so used to that from OpenTDD, that would be nice. Alright, so, build, build, build. Uh, Rose, terminals. That's interesting. The rails seem to have been... I don't know if they're missing their texture or something, but they're pure white. So let's see if we don't screw up here. to be able to build rails. I'm not able to build rails. Guess I'm just mistaken. Hmm. 
I can build roads. I cannot build rails. There we go. Oh, hey, look at that. That. That's an improvement. You don't have to worry about um, building the sections of the rail anymore. It just automatically updates it for you. That is a major improvement. That's going to speed things way up. I'm not exactly sure why that texture on that rail on there is not too good. Although, there's only a limited amount of different things. So I'm going to have to uh, delete this. So, one thing is that when you're building, it doesn't deselect it doesn't deselect what you're trying to build between menus, so it'll need to be changed so that uh, it does do that. But this is, you know, this is amazing. This is a lot of progress. Looks like I'm going to need to demolish this. So I'm going to bring this down a bit. So let's demolish this. Build it there. All right, so another thing I've been complaining about for a while is that blue is just so hard to see in it. Definitely be more transparent than that. That blue highlight. Alright, so now let's do more. Also, we're back to not wanting to build. The mouse is still on. Yeah, come on. There we go. Now it's working. Okay, now we just need to build a food factory. I really wish we could build mine, but it's coming. It's coming. It'll be here soon. So, industry. Food factory. Still deforming. So we gotta set the production of this. Meat. Okay, so meat. Meat and milk. So meat and milk to so three animals. PDX one, which is mine. Uh, I don't know how to this. Oh, I don't 
to see the buy option. There it is. What does that look like? That's weird. Okay, so waypoints. Let's see how much he uh, changed the waypoints here. Go to. Go to where is it the show is just select here. Seems like we can't get it to go to anywhere. Yeah, close it. Also, I can't close the menu. Okay, well, can't go to, you can't close this menu. So, yeah, there's that. Um, so, we'll try another way. Try doing streets. So, we should be good to go here, just so a little bit more. Alright, so now we just need to build our terminal here. Build our street terminal. Okay, so, can I do it? Go away, default. So, let's build our rails here, which I think those, no, he didn't have to build curves and stuff for those. That'd be ridiculous. Alright, so let's just try the basics thing here. Then I'll stop trying to demolish. So yeah, this menu is not responsive at all. Because of that, I can't do anything. Um, I can't close it. I can't. Okay, I can't do anything. And because of that, I can't. Uh, I can't do anything else. I don't know why there's a red box there. It's kind of weird. I don't think anything's on. Yeah, there's just nothing. Uh, 
Okay, well. Yeah. Um, I guess that's it, because you can't build a thing. But, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait until that the industry is in the game to play again. And hopefully, it's, um, the bugs are fixed. So, let's review here. We've got the train. When you build it, you can't do anything in the menu. The waypoints, anything. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, let's try this again. Nope. Can we at least close it? Can we at least sell it? Okay, well, we're able to sell it. Let's, let's try buying it again and see. Not able to set go to. Okay, well, okay, here we go. Alright, so maybe go to on this. He did indeed fix that. And now, uh, when you add a new waypoint, it's under the last one instead of being not under the last one, I guess. Instead of coming from the First one, so that's a good improvement. Uh, let's see here. I can't remember how to add stuff to this. Oh, load, load. A lot. Let's look at that. Uh, let's see here. A strange menu here. Because you go from commodities and you toggle it. And if you try to toggle it from up here, it's empty and it won't go back to commodities. Definitely, this product selection menu should be a lot different. I don't want to get too demanding because I know it's a lot to do to build this giant. <laughs> I've tried by myself and tried building this giant like three or four times. Always family, because it's just too much to do. Alright, so let's start that. <laughs> following the road. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I forget how you clone these things. Oh, damn it. That's right. Can't 
do that because the production is screwed up. Now I can't make it. Okay, now it's the same color. Um, yeah, so... Now I can't even get that to go away. Once again, this menu is unresponsive. There we go. Uh, let's see what we Copy. Let's make let's make our problems worse by compounding the issue. Actually, well, let's let's do a little something to help us out. Let's let's cancel our milk production because that's just gonna screw us up. Yeah, let's compound our problems. Let's buy a ton of trucks. Get our train moving. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it definitely refuses to do anything. Now we can't even get in here. I've seen this problem before, and I don't know why we can't get into here. There's no reason why we can't get into this. Uh, So trucks are able to get into the to the boat. So then we're gonna cut it here. So the train, the train. First off, the train. You can't add any waypoints, and you can get stuck on this menu so where you can't even close it. Okay, that might be because of the go-to. Um, so probably because when you're using go-to, yeah, you can't close it. So. You gotta be able to have it to where you can close it or sell it or use any of these uh, these buttons over here when you're not uh, when you're using GoTo or whatever. Ah, uh, no way. Another thing is the vehicles get stuck at the front of a depot for no reason. Um, whatever. You can't add any waypoints to a train. Because it just doesn't want to do it. There's a red box here. I don't know what that's for. Um, when you build things, or when you use the deform tool, they don't go away when you switch to a different menu. What the? Okay, 
there's another bug. If you if you have your uh, default tool up and you try to build an industry, you will just place it right where the deform tool is. Take the deform tool off now. Okay, this is not happening. So you really do need to fix to where it deselects the deform tool, the demolish tool, whatever. When you switch to the build menu. That'll help a lot. Once again, I can't switch to demolish with the bell menu being active. So we'll try to build this here. Explanation on how exactly the uh, production and industry works for you guys. You try to produce one more thing, it's using the same route too. Can't really use routes efficiently. Uh, let's see, let's just try some more stuff here in the bank. Let's get a new loan, whatever. New loan blocked, okay. Um, This is awesome. okay. world map. This again, great idea, but just okay, not all there yet. Tutorial, some stuff missing. It's really hard to see where your stuff is in the map. Well, I can kind of tell this right here. Um, property. That's interesting. Same stuff. Headquarters. Works fine. Uh, research. Region. I'm not exactly sure how you research this. I really like this little menu though. Although the green background is not too good. I don't know if you're able to research anything yet or not. Well, you know what? Maybe because of my demolish tools. There's no way to turn it off. Okay, now maybe we can research. Nope, still don't know if we're actually researching anything. So, yeah, the trains, the trucks, and the build menus, all broken. Oh! I'm sure what the 